Night Gallery, a groundbreaking TV series from the late 1960s, stands as a testament to the imaginative storytelling of Rod Serling. Known for its blend of horror, fantasy, and the macabre, this anthology series took viewers on a journey through eerie, thought-provoking tales. Each episode introduced by Serling himself was like a painting come to life, depicting stories of suspense and the supernatural. Among the classic Hollywood actors who graced the series, which one left an indelible mark on your memories? Their performances brought depth and nuance to Serling's vivid storytelling, leaving us to ponder the impact of such talent. Furthermore, this series might hold a special place in your heart. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Night Gallery? Perhaps it's an episode that stayed with you or a moment shared with someone while watching. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's delve into some intriguing facts about the show, which might rekindle those fond moments or introduce new ones. For instance, did you know that? Insert interesting facts about the show here as we reflect on this iconic series. It's fascinating to consider how it has influenced the horror and fantasy genres, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire today's filmmakers and storytellers. Share your favorite episodes, actors, or personal experiences related to Night Gallery in the comments. Let's celebrate the eerie brilliance that this series brought to our screens. Night Gallery, conceived by Rod Serling of the Twilight Zone fame, emerged as a unique tapestry in the realm of television horror and speculative fiction. The series, premiering in the late 1960s, distinguished itself with a compelling format each episode introduced by paintings in a dark, mysterious gallery, with Serling as the curator guiding viewers through chilling tales and moral quandaries. Unlike its predecessor, this anthology focused more on supernatural horror and eerie, often macabre storylines. The absence of recurring characters, except for Serling's memorable introductions, allowed the show to explore a diverse range of narratives, from gothic horror to psychological thrillers, each episode a standalone masterpiece. The show's artistic integration, using paintings to set the stage for each story, was a novel approach, embedding a visual imprint in the minds of its audience. Although it never achieved the iconic status of The Twilight Zone, this series left an indelible mark on popular culture influencing a generation of horror and anthology series that followed. Its blend of suspenseful storytelling, moral complexities, and Serling's haunting presentations cemented its place as a significant, albeit darker, chapter in the annals of classic television. The pilot episode of Night Gallery marked a distinct departure from the rest of the series in several key aspects. Notably, the opening and closing music differed significantly, setting a unique tone for the debut. Additionally, the opening credit sequence was distinct from what viewers would come to recognize in subsequent episodes. This initial offering served as a foundation for the series, yet its auditory and visual elements were a one-time experience, diverging from the patterns established in later episodes. These differences in the pilot episode are reflective of the show's evolving creative process, illustrating how it began with a different aesthetic before settling into the more familiar style that defined its later episodes. Rod Serling's experience with the 1969 TV series Night Gallery wasn't all smooth. His working relationship with producer Jack Laird strained due to creative differences. Serling, known for serious drama, felt undermined by the quirky vignettes Laird insisted on. With Laird having the final say, it became a source of tension on set. Interestingly, to bolster the show's syndication appeal, episodes from the hour-long series, The Sixth Sense were edited down and added to Night Gallery's package. This strategic move aimed at preventing audience fatigue by providing a larger pool of episodes for syndication. Studios recognized the value of variety in keeping viewer interest over time. In its third season, Night Gallery underwent a format change. Unlike its earlier structure with multiple stories per episode, each installment now featured just one narrative. This shift marked an evolution in the show's approach, streamlining its storytelling to a singular focus. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and structural changes shed light on the complexities of Night Gallery's production and how it navigated challenges to become a notable part of television history. The visual allure of Night Gallery went beyond just storytelling. Rod Serling, famous for The Twilight Zone, crafted a unique ambience using paintings and sculptures to set the stage for each tale. Interestingly, while the set featured both paintings and sculptures, only paintings were employed to illustrate a story's title, adding a layer of artistic intricacy to the series. As the series progressed, the dynamics behind the scenes shifted. 
In its final season, creative control shifted significantly, with producer Jack Laird taking the reins, diminishing Rod Serling's input. Despite this, Serling persisted, submitting scripts and ideas, showcasing his commitment to the show's narrative legacy. In the realm of syndication, Night Gallery took a strategic approach to maintain viewer engagement. Segments from the original hour-long format were repackaged into half-hour episodes. This involved meticulous editing, either trimming or extending footage to fit the new format. The aim was clear prevent audience fatigue and enhance the series syndication appeal by offering a diverse pool of episodes. These behind-the-scenes nuances, from the intricate use of paintings to the evolving power dynamics and syndication strategies, illuminate the multifaceted journey of Night Gallery. The series, with its blend of visual artistry and storytelling, not only captivated audiences, but also navigated challenges to secure its place in television history. John Astin, known for his roles in various TV shows, had a distinctive connection with Night Gallery. Across three separate episodes, his characters met untimely fates, with two of them ending up in hell. Astin not only showcased his acting prowess, but also directed three episodes of the series. His recurring and dramatic involvement adds an intriguing layer to Night Gallery's narrative. Astin's multifaceted contributions shed light on the diverse elements that define the show from recurring characters, meeting grim fates to the dual role of actors as both performers and directors. This dynamic engagement exemplifies the series' commitment to delivering compelling and varied storytelling. Rod Serling, the creative mind behind Night Gallery, originally envisioned a shift from fantasy to horror during the final season of The Twilight Zone. However, CBS staunchly opposed the idea. When Night Gallery emerged in 1969, Serling, now serving as the host and occasional contributor, faced a lack of creative control compared to his earlier series. The clash between Serling and the show's producer over the quality of stories became evident. Unlike The Twilight Zone, Serling found himself in a different role, contributing to occasional stories and hosting rather than steering the entire narrative. This shift set the stage for a dynamic where creative differences played a significant role in the show's evolution. As the series unfolded, budget constraints became a recurring challenge. Much like many TV productions, Night Gallery operated on a tight budget and shooting schedule. Director John Badham's experience during the filming of a period-setting story highlighted the complexities of maintaining financial discipline. The need for additional shots involving a rented horse and cart incurred extra expenses, leading to a grumble from producer Jack Laird. However, despite the complaints, Laird still approved the necessary funds, showcasing the delicate balance between creativity and financial limitations in the show's production. While Night Gallery grappled with creative clashes and budget constraints, it also underwent structural changes. In its third season, the format shifted from multiple stories per episode to a singular narrative focus. This evolution in storytelling strategy reflected the series' adaptability and response to viewer engagement dynamics. Beyond its narrative, the show's strategic syndication approach involved repackaging segments from the original hour-long format into half-hour episodes, showcasing a commitment to maintaining audience interest over time. In summary, Night Gallery, born from Serling's desire to explore horror, navigated challenges in creative control, budget constraints, and evolving formats. Its journey from Serling's original concept to the nuanced realities of production sheds light on the complexities that define this iconic series in the annals of television history. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the enigmatic canvas of tales that made up the mesmerizing world of artistic narratives, one cannot help but marvel at the enduring legacy left behind by the timeless gem that is Night Gallery. Just like strokes of a masterful painting, the narratives unfolded, revealing the depths of human emotion, the profound and the uncanny. As you reflect on the spectral corridors of memory, we invite you to share the fragments of your own personal odyssey through the gallery of the mind. What shadows did these tales cast on the canvas of your thoughts? What whispers linger in the recesses of your imagination, sparked by the flickering light of Night Gallery? The beauty of this series lies not just in its scripted artistry, but in the kaleidoscope of emotions it stirs within each viewer. In the tapestry of Night Gallery, stories become more than mere narratives. They become a reflection of our shared humanity. So, as you navigate the labyrinth of recollection, we encourage you to lend your voice to the collective narrative. Share your favorite memories, the tales that haunted your dreams, or the moments that etched themselves onto the canvas of your soul. Thank you, dear connoisseur of the extraordinary, for embarking on this journey with us.
Your time and interest have painted vibrant strokes on the canvas of our interaction, enriching the narrative of our shared experience. Until our paths cross again in the realms of storytelling, keep the echoes of Night Gallery alive in the gallery of your heart. Crafted with the essence of artistry and the spirit of shared tales, 